Hi everyone, um, Hannah with Liberty Gourmand here, and um, I wanted to talk to you today about, uh, as quickly as I can, um, about the calls I've been having this morning and my health situation, which is fine. I'll tell you all I'm fine, but um, I'm really mad. I've just been kind of crying my head off for a little bit, which I never do, but this is really unfair, and I'm really, really upset for the people who unlike me, are in wheelchairs or have worse diseases than multiple sclerosis and are encountering the uh, real horrors that are going to just be getting worse um, as a result of the GOP categorically trying to gut the Affordable Care Act and enacting stuff that has made it um, the case that in Lots of states. This one's a little better, but insurance companies can't afford, are having to raise rates and stuff. And that that's by design. Um, so anyway, I got a notification that my plan, there were going to be some changes to our really good insurance plan in the new year. The $500 deductible, that's staying the same. A couple of things are going up, but then the third line item and the final line item was specialty pharmacy, pharmaceuticals. Um, it's going from a $500 copay per prescription, which is per month for me, um, on a drug that is currently uh, $7,300 and change a month for a 28-day supply. So it's going to go from a copay of $500 a month to 40% um, after my deductible. Now, my deductible is $500. My maximum out of pocket is going to go up to $7,900 a month a year, 7,900 a year from 7,300 a year approximately. So that wasn't such a big deal, but um, basically uh, the drug company gives me copay assistance that completely pays my copay and means that I don't have to pay for this ridiculously expensive medicine that is quite safe. It's based on a naturally occurring substance. Um, it's thought to be maybe not as wildly effective as some of the other ones, but for the people for whom it does work, um, we're starting, we were starting with it because it is known to be so safe that only, um, you know, effects are uh, irritation at the injection site, generally speaking. So anyway, um, we were starting with it as a safer one because the people who do succeed on it, it tends to keep people out of wheelchairs and so on and so forth. So um, anyway, I started trying to call people to figure out what the numbers look like on this and what it meant. And my deductible is remaining $500, but um, basically it was still looking like I was going to owe, uh, going to need to pay, come up with more than a thousand dollars a month for at least like the first five months of the year. And the best person I talked to in the whole thing was the drug manufacturer who an insurance specialist there who talked me through the numbers and then was like, call Optum RX back and ask them these three questions. First off, question what their actual contract price is with Briova because she thought that $7,000 a month sounded ridiculous. So as I've been told by other people in pharmacy, um, it's like the in-between people who seem to arbitrarily set prices on our drugs that aren't even necessarily the manufacturer's pricing. Um, so... Anyhow, uh, asked them that. So yeah, I got confirmation that's really fucking expensive. And then I got, um, and she said, ask them if you can pay, if you can get authorization for a three month or 90 day supply. Right now it's 28 day supplies. And she said, because we would pay um, up to $7,500 in copay assistance if that were the case. And that would basically get me to within $400 of my annual out-of-pocket maximum, which would be totally doable. Um, but no, they don't allow it, so screw that. So the first five months of the year, I basically will have to be paying money that I don't have, so I won't be able to take the drug. Um, and yeah, the um, shared solutions, people who make Copaxone will pay up to $12,000 a year in copay assistance, and that would obviously more than make up my annual out-of-pocket maximum, but and it just doesn't work. It just won't work. So um, I'm just super angry. And I think 
if you will go out tomorrow and vote for your Democrat, unless they are a really unique example of, I don't know, child molester or something, just get these people out so that we can actually take care of ourselves again. This is ridiculous. And um, I'm sorry if you have, if you're one of the many, many people with far worse conditions and in worse shape than I am who is struggling, I am so sorry. And um, all we can do is pull for each other and try to be, uh, try to be humane humans out there. So keep on keeping on.